Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host, Aaron, and today we are going to go over our third Funko Pop from that New York Comic Con 2020 lottery drop. I don't know what I've been saying all this whole spiel. So let's get on with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Now, when people say don't drink coffee very late at night, I, re I really should listen to them. I am wired, folks. And I don't even drink that much coffee. Nah, I drink a lot of coffee. So anyway, we have already started opening up that box of Funko Pops from the 2020 New York Comic Con lottery drop thingamabobber. And uh, I think it's time that we take out another Funko Pop. And here it is, coming in at number three. I have no idea what show it's from, but I know I needed to get it. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't get the other one. Here we go. Kamehameha. Just kidding. It's not a Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop. It is P Dixie. Whoa. I was going to say P -P -P Pixie. Uh, yeah, it is uh, Dixie from the Hanna-Barbera show. Uh, Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound. I remember Huckleberry Hound. He was a uh, dog. And uh, he was the dude with the hat, right? He got the hat, Huckleberry Hound. He was white. He was white, and he had a hat, or maybe he wasn't white and he had a hat. He looked fancy. He had like a bow tie. Blue? He was blue. Okay, we're gonna look up a picture of Huckleberry Hound. I think he was blue. Let's toss out that. Let's say he's blue. But what's the point of talking about that guy? Because we have Dix Dixie, Dixie, hey! And as you can see from the sticker, it is a two thousand. I can't even spit that out. 2,500 count. Check that out. Check out that sticker. And uh, I did not get the other one. Or the other one may have sold out. Or I didn't know there was two of them. Like I said, uh, oh man, did I tell you the story? I think I did tell you the story. But I was just trying to buy all these Funko Pops so quickly. And when I first got in, I didn't even have internet service. So I was freaking out. And I was so upset. Uh, but hey, I got a bunch of them, right? I got a bunch of them. I can't complain. Um, so... Uh, I'm looking at the box. Uh, it looks good. So every one of these Funko Pops that did come in uh, from the drop so far have looked great. And I did actually go out and purchase the other Funko Pop, the Pixie. Now, do I know where the Pixie Funko Pop is? You got you to be shitting me. I have no idea where that thing is. Uh, I think I may have opened it on another episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron, I want to say. Back in the day, maybe like three years two three years ago it's got to be three years ago because these are 2020 funko pops all right buy them oh wait let's put oh, la, 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 let's open it up let's open it up let's open it up first folks i'm jumping ahead i was going to look up some information on the pixter the dixter <laughs> dixie whoa dixie okay all right so it's a mouse it's a mouse i don't know what else to say it's a mouse and is wearing a red vest did Pixie have, does Pixie have a blue? Blue or purple? I don't know. I, oh my God. The Funko Pop will not stand. Oh, yes it does, it stands. You know, I was having such an issue with uh, up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. The Jackie, Jackie uh, Chun or whatever it was. Uh, you know, that was his name. It's not Jackie Chan. It's Jackie Chan. I got it right, folks. Don't Dragon Ball Z fight me. I got it right. But I did second guess it in my head once I said it. This dude kept falling down. He is so top heavy in the head. I'm going off on a tangent. I caught myself. Boom. Dixie, 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 Dixie. All right, Dixie. Let's let's look some information up on you. Um, Dixie Huckleberry. Hand. Oh, I went too quick. Dixie Huckleberry. Harry, Hound. Here we go. Huckleberry Hound. All right. So, who... No, I don't... Oh, by the way, Huckleberry Hound was a blue dog and did have, like, a... Uh, he played the banjo! He played, he, had the, he played the banjo. He played the banjo and had one of those, like, little straw hats. So, come on. Where's... Here's Dixie. Dixie... What? No, no, no. I clicked Dixie Huckleberry and it took me to Facebook. What the hell is happening here? Uh, Dixie the Mouse? Yeah, I'm going to write Dixie the Mouse. Dixie the Mouse. This is this is the problem when I don't open these up initially and get all the information. 
because uh, then, then I'm just floundering here. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Here we go. <clears throat> Dixie is the anthropomorphic mouse that was an athlete in the Left Olympics as a member of the Yogi Yoga Bee. Yoga, Yohu, Yahoo's? Yeah, that makes sense. Dixie is a gray furred male mouse with a bit of fur on the top of his head. So he's the male, Dixie, and Pixie is the girl. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Mr. Jinx the cat. I guess he was on the Mr. Jinx, Mr. Jinx chased after on the Mr. Jinx show. Uh, used to chase them around, and Pixie and Dixie would play pranks on them. Uh, I guess they were on a lot of shows. The Yogi Bear Show, uh, Yogi's Gang, Laugh Olympics, Fender Bender. And uh, some trivia is he can be he can be distinguished be from Pixie because of the extra hair in his head, no bow tie, and his southern accent. How the hell was I going to look at this Funko Papa node that has a southern accent? I'm not going to know that this dude has a southern accent. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can just tell by looking at him if he has a southern accent. Uh, this is all the information it has on Dixie. All right. So Dixie, you're. This isn't a lot of info. Yeah, this is not really cool. I, I thought I was going to get a lot more stuff, but it looks like it was the Pixie and Dixie show with Mr. Jinx. And, uh, I mean, I can show you a picture in the corner. And it was an animated television show. Yeah, that's what it was called. It was Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx. It's an animated television produced by Hanna-Barbera back in 1958, and it lasted to 1961. A uh, three-year run. Ooh, a three-year run? Eh, I don't know. And yeah, the plot, you know, the cat chased the, the mouse, or the mice, and then the mice will play pranks. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I bought it for the 2,500 count. I didn't really get it for the, 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 the nostalgia. I, God, it was the 2,500 count. I was a new collector. I wanted to get in the Funko Pops, and this is what happened. If I have time, I will show you a clip from the show, and you guys can be like, ah, oh, hey, Hixie and Dixie, hey. But you know what I'm going to do now? It's going to go right to them ups and them downs. So, uh, what do we got here? Here, Dixie, Huckleberry Ham. Did I say Huckleberry Ham? Hand of our barrel. Goddamn. It's funny because Pixie and Dixie weren't on Huckleberry Hound. They were on the Yogi Bear show. Why do I keep saying Huckleberry Hound? Oh, the box. I'm such a noodle. The box says it. The box says Huckleberry Hound. Anyway. You see that Jinx Jinxie around any place, Dixie? Maybe we lost it on us. <laughs> but the worm has turned. No more running from old Jinx. We gotta fight back. It's Jinx. Scram. Ups and downs. Um, you fell, I, I, maybe I threw you down. I don't know. You're getting it down. You're getting it down. Even though you're a 2,500 piece, I was a blown away. Your information on the phone wasn't too cool. So, my name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with Hey Minister Aaron. I will see you next time. We go over more Funko Pops and have a lot more fun. I'll see you later. Bye.